Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we got two brand new trailers for the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC revealing new gameplay for the Generation 9 games. We're going to be breaking those down and then obviously the Mewtwo raid is now live. We're going to be talking about that too. A lot of stuff to get into today though. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell with all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off we have this here from pldh saying new ads with new gameplay footage have been released for pokemon scarlet and violet's dlc the hidden treasure of area zero i've combined uh, combined both ads into one video ed sheeran jumps gear up uh, top as well so basically these are the two ads here again they're only 30 seconds long because they're ads but uh, they do show uh, new gameplay footage of the pokemon scarlet and violet dlc um so this is the first one here so uh, we obviously have a vulpix here which seems to be obviously like some sort of background maybe the village of uh, the teal mask and then after that, we have uh, this shot here of Snorlax. This looks to be some sort of other area in the village. And then this obviously kind of like hill-like feature here. I don't know where that's leading up to. Probably just another building or something like that. Uh, we then have this here, which seems to be like the... It seems to be like quite an important building for the Scarlet and Violet DLC. We also have a Stantler over here, but obviously that's already in the game. So we know that. Um, and I'm assuming that we'll probably like start the Teal Mask here. This is probably where we'll meet like um, Kieran and other like important characters and stuff and you know probably get told about like the whole ogre pond um and like legendary trio situation we then have this gameplay uh, bit here where kieran is like walking up to you um where you're looking at like the signpost here which obviously shows like the uh i don't know like obviously it's all been leaked and stuff and i'm not gonna be talking about the leaks but uh, i have no idea what this this is um like this clearly is an ogre pond so i'm assuming this might be for dlc2 because um, obviously like you can see that like, the limbs are a lot longer and stuff like that so uh, i'm really interested to see what this is but yeah we have kieran walking up to you here looking at this signpost and then it, and then it also kind of like zooms in on this as well showing more importance to it so i'm really interested to see what that is uh, and then it goes to a black screen and then we have this bus stop here again not sure if you're gonna be able to catch the bus in this game or not but uh, this bus stop, they do keep showing, so it seems to be some sort of like important feature. We then have uh, the character here talking to Diplin, so this is obviously some new gameplay footage of Diplin here, um, which obviously is just cool. I don't, I'm not sure like if you know they've just sent the Pokemon out and then they're just like talking to it, or if it's like in the wild or whatnot. Um, also bending down to it as well, so uh, yeah, maybe like there's no picnic here or anything, so maybe you can do this like outside of. Uh, the picnic where you can like talk to your pokemon a little bit more or something like that we then have mandibuzz here as well and the player i i don't know if mandibuzz i think it's already in the game i'm not 100 percent sure i can't even remember but uh either way mandibuzz in the game uh we have the other ori Corio form here as well just chilling the game looks a lot like the dlc looks a lot more vibrant as well i don't know if they've done something different to like the trees or the grass or something but it looks a lot better we then have clefa and clefairy's kind of like jumping up here having a great time and then we have also got ogre pond at the top of these stairs with the player character here uh kind of just staring you down and stuff like that and then of course they're playing the the footage again of the mask coming off and then we have uh the main character and uh what's the face can't remember her name off the top of my head carmine that's the one um, just kind of looking up. I'm assuming this is up at Kieran. Like, I think that Kieran is going to be like, because obviously no story's been leaked for this. So I'm assuming that Kieran is going to be like really angry that you're like, I think you start off being like his friend and then you like beat him a couple of times. Then you more, spend more time with Carmine and he gets a little bit jealous. So he kind of like wanders off and maybe finds Ogapon or something. And then maybe like Kieran and Ogapon work together. And maybe this is like showing their reaction to like Kieran, um i don't know being like evil or something and then we have the legendary trio and then we also have the ter uh, the terraform of uh ogre pond with his little leg bless him and then uh that's that for the first ad and then the second ad actually has some stuff about the indigo disc as well so this just starts off with some footage of the scarlet and violet games nothing crazy here um let's go to the actual gameplay footage of the dlc which is uh all, way, all the way over here so we obviously have the background here being the hidden treasure of area zero and we have this footage here and yeah it looks a lot more vibrant like the grass looks a lot more greener like the contrast is a lot higher um this is obviously like i don't know if this is this is like a glide feature or it's actually flying but um, obviously the glide feature seems to be something in the indigo disc but it doesn't look like they're getting lower here. So maybe you can fly like in the indigo, in the teal mask. I'm not sure. Uh, we then have this as well. Starly flying on top. We also have creeping up to some polywags and polywell. They're just having a bath. Don't know why we're getting so involved. We then have nine tails here as well. Kind of like 
I don't know, it's just warming up to you. No pun intended. Uh, we also have Ogapon as well with his little legs. And then we have the Indigo Disc here. We've got a little Mudkip over here, uh, which is really cool. Obviously, seeing the starters. We also have Charmander here as well, just chilling. And then we have a load and Executor. And again, like I say, looks a lot more vibrant. Like, I think they have actually done some uh, changes to um the uh the the kind of scenery and stuff so uh yeah obviously we've got the wild alone and executors we then have these four uh elite four characters as well lacy um amory's uh drayton and i keep forgetting his name is like crisp or chip or something like that i don't know and then we also have some new images of terrapagos as well like uh this is really cool obviously we we're not sure what the situation is he looks really small here but uh, obviously, we've got the normal Terrapagos, and then this is the Terrapagos Terraform. So I don't know how it's going to like kind of turn into this or whatnot. But uh, And that is uh, basically the two new gameplay trailers. Just some new gameplay footage, images, and stuff of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. Um, again, I don't know if any returning Pokemon were confirmed in that. But basically, all of the returning Pokemon have now been confirmed for the Teal Mask. We're going to be making a video about that going over it tomorrow. Um, like we have the legitimate complete list for the teal mask not the indigo disc but everything that is returning in the teal mask we now have um, so like i said we'll go over that tomorrow anyway those are the gameplay trailers let's move on to uh, oh yeah we also have this to go over as well from pokemon center also talking about the kind of changes in contrast and you can see like a massive difference here so it's interesting how small changes as simple as using more variety of more colorful trees make the game look, uh, look much prettier compare paldea versus the dlc in these screenshots small steps to improve the experience and yeah you can clearly say i don't know like this looks like an autumn kind of vibe and then here it looks like a lot more summery and stuff yeah it looks a lot more greenish a lot more like like i, said, I think they've just done the contrast up on the grass and the trees look a lot nicer but uh yeah the dlc looks a lot more prettier than the uh the base games of pal there so yeah that's all the dlc stuff uh moving on we of course have the mewtwo raid which has gone up today and apparently i've not tried it yet but apparently it is the hardest raid we've ever had you cannot solo it or it's very difficult to solo at least and uh, yeah it is now live uh the the move pool obviously we'll go over in a second but it's not as bad as we thought but that's because it's got like another kind of gimmick which is so so bad but anyway Cerebi uh, here tweeting out saying Cerebi update the latest pokemon scarlet and violet terror raid battle event is now live mewtwo is in seven star terror raid battles until sunday september the 17th at 2359 utc of course overlapping of when the scarlet and violet dlc uh, comes out teal mask comes out on the 13th of september let's take a look at this mewtwo though so it is of course psychic terror type you cannot get it as a shiny it is shiny lock just like all of the other seven star raids the move pool is psy strike Aura Sphere for those pesky dark types. Do not make your Mew a dark type. It is not going to go well. Um, Ice Beam. It also has Carminder well, which is busted. I think it sets a Carmine up at the start of the battle. That's what I've heard. And then it also gets Rest. Like, that is ridiculous. Like, it's set, set itself up with Carmines. And then also just recovers health with Rest. And obviously, it has cover for um, uh, dark types as well. Uh, it also has a Chesto Berry. For whatever reason, also has a Chasto Berry. Only catchable ones can be challenged multiple times. The HP multiplier, uh, these are the notes, is times 50. Shield damage, 20, 30, 70. Uh, 252 EVs in defense and special defense, 6 in special attack. Uh, the HP of Mew in the, used in this battle goes up by 50%. The stats of the Mew used in this battle goes up by 20%. Mew will be given the mightiest mark on completion of raid. So that has been confirmed. We will be getting a mightiest mark Mew. But uh, this is like why the only real option you can use is Mew because the stats of this thing is just so ridiculous. The move ball is so ridiculous. I guess the Chesto Berry as well. So you kind of just have to use Mew. Uh, but uh, yeah, these are like the items and stuff you get for. Obviously you get your ability patch and stuff. And then that's the base drops and then these are the random drops as well. So for me, I feel like the best Pokemon to possibly use is probably Bug Terra Mew maybe with Leech Life um, potentially. Maybe with like a Swords Dance Leash Life uh, set. Maybe also Struggle Bug to lower the special attack. Um, maybe something like that. I'm not sure if that's a set that people have been using. Not sure what you'd use for your other move. Um, so yeah, I'd probably use like Swords Dance, Struggle Bug, uh, Leech Life just to get HP back and stuff like that. Probably 252 physical attack. Um, probably not 252. You might not need all of it in speed, potentially. I'm not too sure. The EV spread might be a little bit different, but uh, yeah, definitely 252 in attack and obviously getting life back from that Leech Life and then Struggle Bug to obviously lower the special attack of this Pokemon, probably Adam and Nature and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, obviously we'll be streaming some Mewtwo raids tonight, so can't wait to get into it. But yeah, apparently very, very difficult raid, 100%. Um, and then of course, we also have this to quickly go over. Sarah be tweeting out saying, the latest Pokemon Music Collective song is now available on music platforms. Level Up by Matt Cab 
and B-B-Y-N-A-B-E and Charlu. So this is another Pokemon song if you do want to give that a listen. But that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do consider hitting the like button down below. It's trying to 500 likes. Really, really helps out. Uh, leave a comment with your thoughts on the new gameplay trailers and the Mewtwo raids, stuff like that. Uh, obviously, like I said, the Teal Mask has been leaked. I, I was going to make a video about it, but everybody else has now there's not really much point in me using uh, me going over it uh, because like i say it's already all been covered i'll be going over the returning pokemon tomorrow um that are in the teal mask and maybe the moves and abilities of the new pokemon that have been revealed um uh, but uh, yeah i'm not going to be going over like all the new pokemon stuff like that because it's like all over twitter youtube and stuff like that but uh yeah obviously it's it's not too long until it comes out regardless but uh, anyway yeah that's everything from me thank you for watching subscribe if you're brand new ring the notification bell until next time peace